Uh, good day, everyone. We are now on the second game uh, for this um, second day of our NBA game day. So this will be an interesting game between Washington Wizards and uh, the home team, Indiana Pacers. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Passive Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new um, predictions or videos are uploaded. All right? Uh, NBA is back, and um, just like what I said, when NBA was like out for like I don't know three months, four months, we will be focusing on NBA. But worry not, I will still be uh, uploading videos every now and then on MLB, um, NFL, and even PBA. All right? Okay. All right. So let's talk about this one: Washington Wizards and Indiana Pacers. The spread is minus two point five, uh, given to uh, the visiting team. Uh, that's Washington Wizards. It's very interesting to, uh, to see how um, Bradley Beal and Kristaps Porzingis would actually um, uh, would actually coincide with one another. This will be the first time that I would be able to see them uh, because uh, Bradley Beal had uh, the injury, had his season-ending injury last you know last year or last season. So we didn't really have a chance to see how these two will work. Um, but now that Bradley Beal is healthy, Kristaps is actually there. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how these two would actually work. Um, for Washington Wizards, they even have a solid uh, solid bench, man. Uh, they have Hachimura, they have Avdia. I don't know if you guys watched Eurobasket of 2022. Avdia was actually solid right there, man. He was the star of Israel. And Israel had a lot of um, had a lot of wins because of him. Um, now for Indiana Pacers, um, it's kind of sad to see Indiana Pacers because uh, they don't have much depth, really. I mean, your starting five is fine. Uh, they got Turner, they got Halliburton, they got uh, uh, this uh, Buddy Heal, but uh, we all know that uh, they're, they've been chopping around uh, their center, Miles Turner, and Buddy Heal. So I know these guys are professionals and uh, they know how to deal with them, but you just can't be at your 100% when you know that your team doesn't want you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, unlike Washington Wizards, they have all the reasons in the world to be excited, you know, to uh, to be hopeful. And man, I, a lot of people may actually dis uh, disagree with me, but I think Washington Wizards even has um, an, um, an, an opportunity to make it to the playoffs uh, this season. Now, minus 2.5, I really think that's kind of low. I understand it's uh, it's Pacers' uh, home, um, uh, uh, Spacers is um, home, but I don't think I just can't see any any reason as to how they would be able to uh, beat uh, Washington Wizards now that uh, uh, the Wizards are actually healthy. I mean, I understand uh, Buddy Hill can erupt. He has proven that um, many times before, but I think Wizards would have would just have enough defense. Man, um, they were even uh, they were even able to uh, get uh, Morris and Barton. Um, from Denver Nuggets, so they have a lot of weapons now. I'm talking about Washington Wizards. So my pick of this one would be Washington Wizards minus 2.5. I won't even be surprised if you know this would turn out into uh, if, this, if this would even turn out into a game wherein um, Washington would actually win by double digits. Again, that's Washington Wizards minus 2.5. Peace out, Pasalov, and God bless.